up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a bit of a different type of video. We're not talking about makeup. We're kind of talking about fashion a little bit, but we're definitely talking about women. All right, today we are going to be discussing period panties. It is something that I recently tried for the first time. I'm going to go over my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions, a bunch of information about the brand because I dove, dove deep. I dove deep into this whole concept because it was really odd to me. I'd never, like, I've never heard of period panties before, and then I ended up, like, Googling it, and of course they've been around for a while. I'm still getting used to the concept of, like, the period cup type things. Anyways, it's a whole video chock full of TMI information, uh, period talk, lady love, and all of that fun stuff. So, if you're interested, stick around, and let's go. So a company recently reached out to me by the name of Lalova, and they asked if I was interested in trying out their period panties. I was a little skeptical because I don't really trust how stuff like that works, um, but Britt was like, no, you need to do it. Like, I've heard about these. They're supposed to be great. Do it. So I decided to go ahead and try them out. Um, there's so much information online about this type of, of underwear and specifically this brand and this brand I think is really cool because they offer a lot of different types of information about the different pairs of underwear that they've got. So their underwear can absorb up to four tampons worth of liquid thanks to unique ultra thin four layer technology. They can be used alone or as backups to tampons and pads. So you can use like a tampon or a pad at the same time that you're wearing the underwear. There is a couple pairs that I do like recommend this for, but you don't necessarily have to either. They sent me three of the pairs. Their options are slightly limited, but they do have something I personally think for everybody because they do have a really large variety. Each pair of underwear comes in a little cinch bag like this, which I think is super cute. It's folded up and they're really pretty. There is a sticker on the back of the little drawstring that says what the style is. It has a little image of it. It tells you how many tampons worth of liquid it can hold, the color, and the size, which I think is really, really nice because it's very easy to tell which is which. So for example, I tried out different pairs on different days of my period based on my flow, and that was really convenient to just know which one was which. And it got me really comfortable with the whole concept. I chose three different pairs. I kind of went from low kind of coverage, um, how much the liquid each underwear can hold. I went from the low end to the high end, less coverage, full coverage. So I did get one of the Olivia thongs, which holds one tampon's worth. I got the Mia bikini, which holds two tampons worth. And then the Olivia boy shorts, which holds two tampons worth. Um, now I personally wore the boy shorts on my heaviest day because it's kind of the, the underwear with like the most girth and I don't know like if I were to wear tampons I feel like I would need to just for my own like level of comfort feeling protection I feel like I would have definitely needed to change up more than twice and I was good with the underwear so I'm gonna get into all of that I want to give you a little bit more information about the different types of underwear that they have though then we're gonna talk about my cycle then we're gonna talk about my opinions on these guys so there's a lot of information to go through I made some notes um, so forgive me <laughs> but they offer six different styles on their website they have thongs bikinis hipsters hip huggers and high waist so like I said they genuinely do have something for everyone the underwear that I chose I picked all black underwear um, that's just what I personally prefer but they do have a variety of different colors, which is really nice. Uh, the underwear is composed of four different layers that go all the way to the back for an ultimate protection day and night. The first layer is a moisture wicking cotton inner layer for softness and breathability. The second layer is an antimicrobial lining to fight bacteria and odors. The third layer is a super absorbent fabric that holds up to two tampons worth. And then the fourth layer is a leak resistant nylon outer layer to keep it all in. They do recommend using Lilova at home first just to kind of test it out and see how it works. That's exactly what I did. I think it was around day three or four-ish that I started wearing it out and about once I kind of had a good grasp on how it was working for me. And like I said before, you can wear it alone or you can wear it as backup for pads, cups, tampons, whatever you personally use. Caring for the Lilova underwear is really easy. When you take them off, you rinse them with cold water until the water runs clear, which definitely sounds a little gorier than it actually is. I was pleasantly impressed with how simple it was to rinse it out 
and it wasn't anything like overly grotesque or anything. Um, and then you machine wash them either separately or with the rest of your laundry on a cold cycle without using fabric softener. And then you hang them to dry. They don't go in the dryer. So I have a like lingerie bags. So I would like rinse them in my sink and then I'd wash them. I did one load together with other stuff, but they ended up attracting glitter from all of my makeup cloths and things like that. So I ended up doing it a second cycle with them by themselves and then I just let them air dry. I have like a little sink in my laundry room and I let them air dry in that and they came out perfect, brand new, as good as new. So it worked out pretty well. Um, I just followed their care instructions and it did a good job. The Lova is also really good for teenagers, specifically if you are new to the world of periods. I feel like this would be like a way easier way to kind of be introduced to things because I remember being, what, 13? <sighs> So I definitely think that if you've got teenagers in your family, maybe something to keep in mind. Also, for postpartum mothers, you guys, I wish I had had something like that. Because when you have a baby and you're in the hospital, they give you those like huge disposable diapers that are atrocious. These are much more comfortable. They're much more... Like, I almost feel... And like, this is totally a personal opinion. Like, don't take offense to this or anything. But I almost feel like the stuff that they give you in the hospital is ever so slightly demeaning. I feel like that's a pretty common feeling, right? And I really wish that I had had something like this at that time in my life because it would have made me feel so much better about myself. Because even though these, they're period panties, they're still very cute. The design is still very cute and it's very feminine and I like it. You know, it makes me feel good about myself even during that time of the month, which is very difficult to do for me. And I like that. It's a pleasant experience. I really wish that I had had them postpartum. So another thing to keep in mind, in your brain. And then obviously they are much better for the environment and your wallet than disposable products. I do have statistics, bear with me. Um, in the USA only, over 20 billion used menstrual products end up in our landfills every year. A regular tampon or a pad takes 500 to 800 years to decompose. So think about this. You won't be alive by the time the first pad or tampon you ever used will be decomposed. Your grandchildren won't be alive by the time the first tampon or pad you ever used has decomposed. That is insane to me. You guys know I try to do sustainable-ish things, sustainable-esque things throughout my life. And this is definitely one of those areas that I always struggled with because I'm not a cup person. I've never had much luck with cups. They don't, I don't, I don't enjoy them. You know what I mean? Um, plus, the average person spends nearly $270 on period products every year. The Lilova underwear is kind of pricey in my personal opinion. However, I thought about it and I was like, I could buy one pair of this underwear. And in two months, it'll be the exact same money that I spend on pads and tampons. But then I don't have to buy it again. So in two months, it's going to pay for itself. And that is what sold me. And I will say... After I tried the underwear that they sent me, I ended up ordering six more pairs. I ordered a couple for Brit, but then I ordered more for myself too. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to all of that, I swear. So let's talk about the underwear that I got. Uh, a brief mention of my cycle. I have a seven day cycle. It sucks. One of the claims that Lilova makes is that they can help reduce period cramps. Um, so I don't... <laughs> little fun fact about me. I don't feel period cramps at all. I also don't feel like birthing contractions, um, which puts me in a semi-dangerous position because I don't know when I'm in labor, but um, I don't. And so I, the only pain that I do feel is I get back pain the first two days of my period normally. Okay. So I got my period. I got three pairs of underwear from Lilova. The first pair that I tried were the Olivia Boy Shorts. These are the largest pair that I tried. These also hold the most liquid. Um, here are my thoughts on these. I feel like these are literally the size of like boxers, um, which are really great for heavy flow days. And if you're one of those people who likes to sleep like in nothing but their underwear, if you're on your period and you want to sleep in your underwear, get these. Because these, first of all, cover everything. Second of all, I slept in these, you guys. I was convinced I was going to leak through them. I was convinced. Nothing, not a drop. Um, a couple of really interesting things about this, though, is... When I wore these, I had no back pain. Zero back pain. 
Oh, it was beautiful. Second of all, I have had a seven day period my entire life. Since I was 13 and got my first period, I have had a seven day period. I wore these, I had a five day period. I don't know if that's like a placebo thing in my mind, if I'm getting older. I don't know what the deal is, right? But I attribute it to these because I can't think of any, I mean like I can think of other reasons, but that just makes me happy and I find it very coincidental that the first time I had my period with no cramps was also the day that it shaved two days off of it. I was very excited about that. Um, also, my concern with period underwear, and this is, I'm going to kind of go back into the, showing you guys the underwear, but my biggest concern with this is when you wear like a pad, because I normally switch out between pads and tampons depending, because I have so many, like I've got one to three really heavy days, and then the other four days are very light, and I don't really like to wear tampons during the light days because it's a pain in the ass getting it out. Um, so my concern with it was when I wear pads, if I do have a heavier flow than I'm expecting, the pad almost, this is where it's going to get a little gross, the pad almost, um, like, nothing really soaks into it, and it just kind of sits on the top, and you can feel it. And I think that's why a lot of people don't like pads, because it's it's not a comfortable feeling whatsoever. It's really gross. But um, that's kind of what I expected to happen with these, because I was like, where's it going to go? Like, what? No. I could not feel a thing. And I ended up doing this thing where, like, when I went to the bathroom, run a piece of toilet paper over the crotch part of the underwear, no blood came up. It was all soaked in. It didn't like remain wet though. Like it was still dried feeling and it literally felt like I could not feel anything that was going on. And it was so nice because I'm always very self-conscious about the fact that like I can feel liquid, right? And I couldn't feel that with this and it was really nice. So I did like these. They're a little bit um, more cumbersome than the underwear that I wear on a pretty regular basis. However, they worked really well. They were really amazing for my heavy flow days and literally this is a pair that I wore and I was like, I'm buying more. I need to buy more uh, because they were comfortable. They're so comfortable. They are a little bit tight around the bottom of the legs, but that kind of makes sense because you want to kind of hold everything in. Um, but no leaking, nothing. They're so, like, it's almost like a bathing suit material, I would say, is what this feels like, almost. But they're really comfortable. They don't feel odd on, like it just feels like a pair of underwear. Very nice. Also picked up the Mia bikini. This is literally like any other bikini underwear you could get. It's got really cute lace trim. And the only difference is you have kind of, it, it you like you can tell that there's a lining inside, but it's not like annoying feeling. You know what I mean? Like it's not like wearing a pad. And that's kind of what I thought these were going to be like. I thought they were going to be like wearing a pad, uh, but they're not. And the lining goes all the way up to the back here, which is really nice because it covers the entire surface area of everything. These were also really comfortable. Felt like just regular underwear on. I loved them. This was the Olivia thong. And when I pulled it out, I was like, well, that looks really big. That looks really uncomfortable. First of all, super comfortable. If you are a thong person, strongly recommend this. Um, the, the lining in this is like way up here and then it goes all the way down and there is lining in the crotch area. Now having said that, it's actually not uncomfortable at all. I wore these with a tampon on my low flow days, but then on my very last day, which I didn't realize was going to be my last, but my flow had pretty much ceased. I wore them by themselves and I do think if you have a lighter flow, if you have, uh, if you're almost done with your period or something like that, you could totally like just wear these by themselves. It just doesn't hold as much liquid as the larger pairs do, but it's still a viable option if you don't need as much kind of width. So all in all, my experience with period panties was phenomenal. I I'm so done with pads and tampons. I hate them. I hate the ill effects that they have on your body because putting anything foreign um, around your lady parts is never going to end the greatest and it really is bad for you. So I feel like this is definitely a safer alternative, especially when you're talking about bleached cotton and things like that because so many pads and tampons are bleached and that's not something you want inside of you. It really isn't. Um, but I love the fact that they're environmentally friendly. I love the fact that overall it is cheaper. It's it's very much like a kind of small investment in the very beginning, obviously, because you do have to purchase the underwear. However, over time, like I said, if you look at the math, makes complete sense. I am going to save a fortune. I'm very excited. This is how I got my husband on board. I'm very excited about the whole thing. Um, but I really liked my experience with them. I have, since trying these out, I've spoken to a couple of other people who have also tried out period panties. And everyone seems to say the same thing. Like, they're amazing. Why aren't more people using these? I don't know. 
So if you're interested in trying them out, I will leave them linked down below. If you have tried out period panties, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on the whole concept are. And if you've tried Lilova especially, um, let me know what you thought about this brand. Because this is the only brand that I've tried so far. But, I mean, I don't even see the need to, like, go try a different brand. Because I freaking love this brand so much. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me in the future. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.